Hello friends, I'm Parwis and this is our 22nd video in Python programming language and our 8th video in uh, Python object-oriented concepts. So, in the previous video we have uh, learned about hierarchical inheritance in Python programming language and we have created a practical example of uh, that inheritance. Uh, in this video we are going to talk about another concept in object-oriented programming that's called polymorphism. So first of all, what is polymorphism? Now, uh, we are going to uh, start with a real world example. Uh, for example, as you know, uh, we use milk for drinking, but uh, also uh, milk can also be used to make curd, butter, and etc. So the term polymorphism means to use something in different forms. In software development, uh, to maintain the code and to maintain the simplicity of the code uh, we will use the concept of polymorphism so there are two uh, uh, popular examples of polymorphism so for example we have method overloading and we have method overriding so now method overloading is used in a single class uh, where you have uh, the same function name but different set of arguments for each function and uh, as method overriding is a concept one comes across while making subclasses. For example, we know that a child class can inherit all the methods and attributes from the base class. However, in some situations, the inherited method from the base class does not fit into the child class. On that situation, we need to change that method and implement uh, that method in the child class. Now, in this scenario, we can call it method overriding. Now, I'm going to open my uh, PyCharm ID and I want to show you the practical example of method overriding and polymorphism. Uh, okay, now this is my PyCharm ID and this example is from the previous video, the hierarchical inheritance. Uh, now, I have created a new Python file. Let me create a class, so class A, and let me uh, write the initializer for constructor. Uh, def init and in here I have uh, for example name and also last name <coughs> and uh, self dot name to the name and uh, <coughs> self dot last name to the last name okay after this let me create a new method of uh, def print details and in here let me just print uh, my name is class self dot name and uh, and my last name is last name let me bring it in here okay and my last name is plus self dot last name okay now this is my base class after this let me create another class and uh, so class B now this class inherit from class A and right now, right, let me just pause this class. Okay, now you know from the inheritance definition that now this B class can access to all attributes and behaviors of my base class. Uh, so if I uh, create, uh, for example, first let me create the A uh, class object, so AA, and uh, let me give John and let me give for example John Doe and now I can call my method so print details and if I run this so you can see that I have uh, my name is John and my last name is Doe and uh, if I create the object of my B so B B And if I call b dot print details, uh, now if I run this, 
Now we can see that uh, my name is Paruiz and my last name is Fro. So now uh, the, we can access to the uh, to this. But and I have said that uh, in the definition of uh, uh, method of writing that in some scenario you need to change the functionality of this print details because uh, this print details. So you don't want this. Uh, for example, uh, you also want to print the in your this class B. You want to print name, last name, and also the email address. So for this, now this is called method of writing. Uh, for this, let me create in here uh, uh, in my this class. Let me bring some change. So definite, and uh, now in here, <coughs> I'm going to give the name, email, and also I uh, name, last name, and also I want the email. Okay. And uh, now uh, self dot name to the name, uh, self dot last name to the last name, and self dot email to email. Okay. Now I can create my this print details in here. So let me just copy this and paste it in here. Uh, my name is uh, this and also you need to add uh, plus email self dot email <coughs> okay now uh, for now uh, I need to give uh, uh, also another parameter of email if you see here we need to uh, parameter email is unfilled now I can give, for example, uh, so now if I run this, uh, you will see that I have changed the functionality of this method. Okay, now you can see for the first print details, we have my name is John and my last name is Do. But for the second, I have, because I have changed, my name is this and my last name is this and this is the email address. Uh, so, uh, like this, uh, you can do uh, method of writing. Also, uh, instead of uh, using uh, these all, uh, you can use a super function in here. So now, uh, super function in here is used for invoking the uh, initializer of the parent class into the child class. Now let me show you for this. Uh, let me just uh, remove these two. <coughs> now I want to invoke the super in here. Dot init, and in here I want to write the name and also last name. Now if I run this, uh, the result is the same and there is no problem. So let me just run it. Okay, now you can see that the result is the same. So thank you guys. Uh, this was polymorphism talk topic and method of writing. If you have any question, please let me know. And for the further videos, please subscribe to my channel.